Thank you for joining me for a quick look at the state of the stock market using the peak velocity indicator. We're going to see that the bull market is alive and well according to this indicator. Let's start with the idea of momentum. And momentum simply measures the speed of a stock's advance or decline. It's telling us how fast the stock is going. This has been widely studied by the academic community since the late 1960s. There's a number of peer-reviewed academic journal articles that confirm momentum works. Now, many technical indicators are based on this idea, but many of them don't directly measure momentum. They use various formulas to introduce signals that delay the market action. So, stochastics, MACD, these are indicators that are going to be based on the past market data and by the nature of the calculation your signals are delayed until significantly after the market turns. Understanding this problem, I worked to develop an indicator called peak velocity that avoids that problem. We're directly measuring momentum. It's simply the current price divided by the most recent 52-week high. And that avoids the delay problem. We're updating it in real time. By adding a moving average to it, we can isolate times when prices are likely to accelerate to the upside and get clear trading signals. These signals can apply to individual stocks or to the stock market averages. This chart applies it to the S&P 500 index. And as you can see, the signals are clear. Green bars represent buy signals, and the white areas are when we're out of the market. Not every signal is precise and exact, but we do find that trading all of these signals over the past 10 years on the Spider S&P 500 ETF, you would have substantially beaten the market. And these test results are after deductions for commissions and trading costs. So the S&P 500 average gain 11.5% a year over the past 10 years, that's outstanding. But 22.8% using the simple peak velocity system on SPY. Peak velocity, importantly to me, also decreased risk. The largest drawdown was 2.8%. Now drawdown is the largest loss in an account over a period of time. So if you were a buy and hold investor in the S&P 500 over the past 10 years, your largest drawdown was more than 45%. Peak velocity nearly eliminated the drawdown, showing its value as a market timing tool. The indicators useful at finding the ideal time to get out of the market, and right now it's telling us we should be in the stock market, enjoying the gains that appear to be likely. Thanks for joining me.